Hologic presents a video guide to the collection of COVID nasopharyngeal specimens by clinicians using the Aptima and Panther Fusion Swab Specimen Collection Kit. Important notes. Swab specimens should be obtained from the posterior nasopharynx. The swab shaft should be aluminum or flexible plastic. Cotton-tipped or calcium alginate swabs are not acceptable. Start by removing the swab from the package. To avoid contamination, do not touch the soft tip or lay the swab down. If the soft tip is touched, laid down or dropped, discard it and get a new swab specimen collection kit. Hold the swab, placing your thumb and forefinger on the middle of the shaft, covering the score line if present. Do not hold the shaft below the score line. Now tilt the patient's head back to a 70 degree angle. Check for nasal obstructions. Then gently insert the swab straight back into the patient's nostril. Aim posteriorly along the floor of the nasal cavity until reaching the posterior wall of the nasopharynx. Keep the swab near the septum floor of the nose, gently pushing the swab into the post nasopharynx. The swab should reach a depth equal to the distance from the nostrils to the outer opening of the ear. Be careful not to insert the swab upwards and don't force the swab. If there is an obstruction, try the other nostril. Now leave the swab in place for up to 10 seconds to absorb secretions. Then slowly remove the swab while rotating it. While holding the swab in hand, unscrew the tube cap. Do not spill the tube contents. Do not pour out the contents of the tube. If a spill occurs, discard the tube and replace it with a new one. Next, place the swab specimens into 3 milliliters of VTM or UTM. The following VTM and UTM can be used. Ramel Microtest M4, M4RT, M5, or M6 formulations. Copan Universal Transport Medium and BD Universal Viral Transport Medium. Acceptable alternatives include liquid amies, saline, or specimen transport medium. Immediately place the swab into the transport tube and seal it. If a score line is present, break the swab at the score line at the top of the tube. The swab will drop to the bottom of the vial. Next, discard the top portion of the shaft. Do not break the shaft above the score line. Do not cut the swab. Do not fold the swab in half. And do not puncture the top of the tube. Now tightly screw the cap onto the tube. Use the tube label to provide a unique identification for the specimen. After collection, specimens can be stored at 2 degrees to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 96 hours. COVID nasopharyngeal specimen collection by clinicians with the Aptima and Panther Fusion Swab Specimen Collection Kit. To learn more, visit Hologic.com.